Um, my name is Stephanie Macias. I work at the Enterprise Development Center. This is an incubator and business development center on the campus of NJIT, the New Jersey Institute of Technology in New Jersey. Yeah, I manage our marketing and events, so I help bring visibility to all the company's successes. I host our workshops and seminars and our Entrepreneur in Residence program, which is a mentorship component that we provide. So why do you do what you do? A lot of things, a lot of careers you could have chosen, why do you do what you do? You know, I think it's the, the, the satisfaction that I know that I'm contributing to the greater good of the state and the eventual uh, success that the company will receive. Um, our mission at NJIT is to promote job growth and the economic uh, prowess of New Jersey. And so we see um, business incubation as a facet of that growth. Um, and we have 90 companies at our center. Many of them have been um, acquired and have uh, collaborated with large corporations and have provided jobs, um, countless jobs to students at NJIT, to New Jersey residents. And so um, it's knowing that um, our work is impacting uh, the state as a whole, and it's very rewarding. So what would you tell a new entrepreneur? What's the one piece of advice if you had two minutes with them? It's like, okay, before you run out in the world, here's what you need. <laughs> Do you have your business plan and your uh, and your financials and your and your? Do you have your? Do you have your business plan, really? Um, I mean, do you have everything that if you had um, an angel come to you um, the next day and say, I'd like to sit down with you? Do you have your 30-second pitch? Do you have your deck ready? I, I, want, I think uh, lots of times uh, entrepreneurs, at least in our center, we're very high-tech and life science based. So medical device companies, mobile apps, and so they get really into the core technology and they've got their blinders on and they're not realizing all the other facets of the business that they need to take care of. But this is a symptom of being an entrepreneur with having small staff, so we understand that. So I would just would like to stress um, having all your ducks in a row um, and preparing for whatever may come. If that might be a pivot, that might be a new adjacent opportunity for your business line. Just having um, your, your, your business in line uh, for anything that might come in the future. So what do you see as a gap in your entrepreneur ecosystem in New Jersey? I believe the gap right now is funding. Um, we are in Newark, New Jersey, so we're very close to New York City, and there's a lot of buzz and hype going on um, with the New York startup community. And so um, we like to position ourselves as a more affordable location for people to come and grow their business. We're on the campus of NJIT so you can tap into the student body. Uh, we have our own angel fund that we're trying to grow. And so I want to uh, remain competitive in light of different uh, startup communities that are popping up. And, and New York is um, one of the biggest in, in the, the world at, at right now. Um, but I'd like to see more funding come to New Jersey and, and to North Jersey um, and to the urban communities that are um, supporting startups and businesses. So you came here to Denver. What, yeah. What is your expectation for the conference? To learn and to and to learn and to see where I can grow professionally, um, and to take back a lot of knowledge and anything I can glean from my uh, fellow colleagues in the incubation services. Uh, I've only been in incubation for a year and a half now. I'm I was a fundraiser um, formally, um, and so this was a new transition for me. But um, it's I'm finding that my skill set uh, is 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 well positioned for incubation services and, and I'm really able to contribute so I'm looking forward to how I can learn uh, just more tips and resources that are available to us and bring them back to New Jersey. Great, thank you very much. Great, thanks Paul. Great thank you so much.